Hi, what's up you guys? This is your girl Sewit with Brit and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So our tutorial for today will be about bustier draping. I am going to show you guys how to drape a bustier from my dress form, which is also known as the 3D pattern making. And later on, I am going to show you guys how to transfer everything from fabric to flat pattern. So before we start this tutorial, make it sure to hit that subscribe and bell button. And if you're new to my channel, make it sure to check out my pattern making and sewing tutorial. So get your materials ready and let's get this tutorial started. These are the materials that I will use for this tutorial. Tape measure, 1 8 inch drafting or draping tape, 1 and a half yards of muslin, pattern paper, pencil, Tracing wheel, fabric scissors, paper scissors, lots and lots of pins, fashion ruler, and of course, my dress form. So before draping or 3D pattern making, we must understand first the important areas of our dress form. Here are the important areas for draping. Front center line is the center of the dress form. This guideline is the starting point every time we drape. Back center line. It's the guideline on the back and it's also the same with the front center line. Under bust. It's the smallest part of the bust area, usually the difficult part to contour or to drape. Bust point or apex. It's the largest or fullest part of the bust area. Princess seam line for the front and back area. Where the waist and hip darts are located. Waistline is the smallest part of the midsection. Hipline is the largest part of the lower section. Standard measurement from waist to hip is 8 for 8 inches. Side seam. This section connects front and back patterns together. Also, a difficult area to drape since it's very curvy. Let's move on to the first step, which is drafting on our dress form. The first part that I will draft is the front center line. I'm using my drafting tape and keep in mind to follow the lines on your dress form. Next is the neckline of my bustier. I am just drafting a semi-hard shaped neckline for this one and passing through the side seam and going to the back area. Next is the back center line. So here, I am just following the line on my dress form. Luckily, I have existing lines on my dress form. Next, I am drafting the under bust following the existing lines on my dress form. And this is the bust cup for the bustier. Notice that there's a 2 each inch gap between my bust cup and my front center line. Next is the first panel for my bust cup. The measurement of the first panel is 1.5 inches down from my neckline. Next, I am going to draft the princess seam line from the first panel of the bust cup all the way down to the waist and to the hips, making two new panels for my bust cup and two new panels on the mid and low sections. Next is I am going to draft the princess seam line on the back, making two panels for the back area. And finally, I am going to draft the hemline for my bustier. There's no exact measurement for this, and in here, I am doing this freehand. So I am drafting this starting on the front and going to the back. And this is my design for my bustier. Let's now move on to the 3D pattern making or draping. Before we go to actual draping, here's an illustration of the fabric that we will need for this tutorial. 20 inches by 10 inches of fabric for the bus cut draping. So I will only use one layer of this fabric since I am only draping on one side. Next, 4 panels 12 inches by 8 inches. These 4 panels are for the mid-low section, for example from the under bus going to the waistline, from the waistline going to the hip line, and from the hip line going to the hemline. So the first part that I will drape is the bus cup. As you guys can see, I started on the first panel of my bus cup. When draping, make it sure to place the straight grain line on the front center line. Pin everything in place. 
And as you guys can see, I'm using my pencil now to trace the pattern on my muslin. I'm just tracing on the outer part of the drafting. is the front side panel for the bustier. First, I pin the fabric on the bust part and cut the excess fabric. Pin it again on the side and snipping off the tension on the waist and pinning it in place. Again, I am snipping off the bust area to ease the tension and pinning the fabric in place. Next is the side seam. This one is very tricky because this part is very curvy. So here I am cutting off the excess fabric, snipping off the waistline area to ease the tension. Once I am satisfied with the ease, I am going to smooth the fabric and pin it in place. And now, I can finally trace the pattern on the fabric. If you are doing this at home, please, please, please don't forget to notch the waistline or the notches, the important notches. And here's the front side panel for the bustier. 
Next is the back side panel. First, I will pin the fabric on top. Find the tension on the fabric and snip it off for ease. So here, I am snipping off the tension on the waistline area. And as you guys can see, I am pinning the first side of the panel. On the side seam, expect that you will snip a lot in this area, especially on the waist area. Because this area is very curvy and there's a lot of tension here. So now I'm pinning the fabric in place. And once I am satisfied with the ease and placement, I will cut the excess and start tracing the pattern. And this is the back side panel pattern. Okay, so let's move on to the last and final panel, which is the center back panel. As usual, I will pin the fabric on the center line and on top. And as you guys can see, I'm snipping off the tension, particularly on the waist area, and I will do the same on the other side. So, pin everything in place. Cut the excess fabric. And now I can start tracing the pattern. And here is the center back in the final pattern for this tutorial. And we are done with 3D pattern making. So before we move on to transferring the patterns, I'm just showing you guys a quick moulage for this bustier. And voila! Here's the front, the back, and the side seam. So I am pretty satisfied with the 3D pattern making for my bustier, and there's no adjustments needed for this one. Now let's move on to transferring the patterns to paper. In here, I have my fabric patterns and a piece of pattern paper to trace the pattern. Using my tracing wheel, I am tracing now the patterns to the paper and reshaping the lines or truing the pattern. So as you guys can see, I am now putting half inch of seam allowance all around my pattern. And there's an indication that these patterns should be cut on the straight grade. And last, I'm putting half inch of seam allowance on my bust cuff pattern. So now we can finally cut the patterns out from the paper and we are done!
By the way, you guys, if you're doing this tutorial at home, don't forget to archive your patterns because we will use this again for the next tutorial for the bustier sewing. Anyways, you guys, if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, so with Big Break, make it sure to hit that subscribe and bell button to be notified with my new tutorials. And I'll see you guys again on the next tutorial.